So I spoke uh, to some uh, of uh, the adults, especially to some from uh, refugees from Pakistan. They are in the detention camp since several months. They are not uh, able to judge on their future. They are waiting uh, the asylum procedure to, to be finished. They have no clue how long they have to stay under these conditions. They complained about the food, it's not enough. They complained uh, about uh, restricted possibilities to leave the containers. Uh, and here is also food problem. Food it's very, problem. Yeah, it's very some. It's not enough to eat. It's very some. As far as I could understand this situation, uh, the uh, the lawyers coming here. Uh, our lawyers working with NGOs. Uh, so this is obviously not sufficient. I learned also about one case. Uh, somebody had already paid a lawyer to support him. Uh, the money is gone, the lawyer also, and nothing is happening. Have you seen a lawyer? Uh, I have a hired lawyer. But she didn't do anything. And I, I give him 300 uh, euro. Mm -hmm. She didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And you, you are now trying to get asylum here? In yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get asylum. And you, you wait since when? Uh, since three months. S since three months? Yeah. yeah. So this is my, my name and we are trying to follow in, in case anything... I must say I was shocked about the, contain, the containers. Uh, it's, uh, so I, I have never been in Guantanamo, but I felt uh, reminded to uh, Gu Guantanamo. <laughs> Would be good to be out for good weather. They should be out yeah. for three months. For, for three months. Yeah. For three months. How many people? How many people? Well, four people. Four in this one room. And this one. And this one. He's saying that uh, this, this change from 3 to 12 months of administrative detention that happened this month was, was, was made um, in order to uh, give the impetus to, to people to avoid applying for asylum because they will think they will get out in three months. Mm -hmm. So now they changed the law to 12 months, so people will say, well, you know, even if I apply for asylum, I might be in prison for 12 months, I better not do it. That's the logic of the government, according to this uh, police director. But it's uh, very difficult to imagine that people uh, can survive in these conditions in a good way for 12 months. Uh, this is in this is actually the best he can show you. It's worse yeah. uh, elsewhere. <laughs> I was completely astonished to find that many children in a special detention camp. I'm not sure whether the conditions are worth uh, than uh, for the adults, because they live in big rooms without uh, real light, so they live mainly in artificial light. They complained uh, also about the food, but still more about the lack of soap and the lack of possibility to wash their clothes. Uh, one child explained to us he's waiting a doctor because he has heart problems, but no doctor is uh, ever showing up here. Uh, how long is it? Uh, two months. Two months. And what is uh, your expectation? Uh, are you going to be free? Do you know something about it? No, I don't know. Do you know three, three months here. Three months here. Three uh, people have three months here. Yes, and then? But uh, I don't know. Are you in touch with your parents? No? Lawyers? No. Everything. 
Everything no, only the police. <laughs> they don't know why they are here, but that's also another problem. They, nobody knows why they're here. They don't know why they're here. Do they know what they have to expect? Ξέρουνε τι να περιμένουν εδώ ή τι... Περιμένουν όπως και οι άλλοι να τελειώσουν αγγλικά στο άσυλο τους και να βγουν πάλι έξω. They are waiting for the response to their asylum application. Και πού είναι πού είναι πού Everybody is waiting deportation here. The ones who have applied for asylum wait for the processing of their asylum case. The ones who um, have not applied for asylum uh, are waiting for deportation plainly. The maximum period of detention is six months and then they are deported. Yeah, we don't know where their families are and they don't know where their families are. Um, and and they, they are deported back to where they came from. So, but Deporting unaccompanied but minors, yeah? It's not, and it's not <laughs> exactly if you have We have immediately to look for, for a solution because it cannot be the truth that in a European state, in, a, in, in Europe, in the European Union, we have for several months that many children in detention camps. And as far as I understood uh, the policemen working here, uh, these detention camps are the best which we can find in Greece. Bacha, <laughs> <laughs>